Hi everyone, Cayman Reynolds here. We've been talking to several of you about our new pollen patty recipe that we've been tinkering around with, and it's nothing super crazy fancy. And for those of you who are already thinking that it's completely made from scratch, that is not the case. I'm going to go ahead and address that right now, because I have a lot of people ask me why I just don't make my own from scratch. I don't have the time. That's the number one reason. And I just really don't think that I could do as good of a job as the guys and the scientists who take the time to make these subs. I'm not saying you can't tinker around and make a decent sub, but there's just so much to it. And the more they research, the more they find out just all the, the even the tiniest ingredients. Over the years, I don't have time to get into it in this video, but there's been products like zinc or tryptophan or other ingredients that are just so minute there's not even that much in the patty itself but if it's not in there at all it really affects brood production so there's a lot of research that goes into this stuff and plus you have to source all the ingredients and if you're not buying in bulk and you know yada 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 all that stuff I don't have time for that we can get Ultra B for 1500 pounds and it's at a very affordable price especially if you can pick it up so that's why we use it. Now this recipe, you probably can adjust it just a little bit. Maybe use it the same way for other products like Mega Bee and other things like that. I'm not affiliated with Ultra Bee in any way. I just happen to use it a lot because it's affordable and in my area. So that's what we're going to be using. Now the old recipe, I'm going to leave it in the link below. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It just has um, maybe a few things that we hopefully have made better. Plus, now I have access to Pro Suite in Clarkson, Kentucky. If you're near any of the Man Lake areas or maybe near a Dayton or other big bee supply companies, you can usually find some type of syrup feed, whether it's um, a Pro Suite type, like a sugar odd blend, or whether it's a high fructose corn syrup. I'm not really a fan of that, but a lot of commercial and professionals use that with seems to be no problem. So I don't know about that. I've never used corn syrup before. So... Ah, here it is. So, I'm going to run over a couple things, namely the recipe, and then tell you basically why we did what we did. So, the old recipe, one of the problems with it, because it was made out of granulated sugar, it wanted to dry out. And that's why we use the vegetable oil in it. And that's one of the reasons I like this recipe, is we don't have the vegetable oil in there. It's not like it was hurting the bees or anything that we could tell at all. If anything, the bees responded very well to the old recipe. However, it's just one more ingredient to buy, one more thing to mix, and it still didn't do its job the way that we needed it to, which was to keep the pollen patty moist at all times. Especially on counties that didn't eat it as quickly, the edges towards where the parchment paper was dried out, and whenever the patty starts drying out, the bees won't use it. They're not going to moisten it up, and they're just going to kick it out of the hive. So you lose a small percentage of patty. Now, in big colonies that are hungry and will eat it quickly, there's very little to no waste. However, I want the bees to be able to consume as much pollen patty as quickly as they possibly can. So it needs to be something that they can get a hold of, that's desirable to them, that's not going to dry out because we want them to get it, attack it, and eat it because we have small hive beetles. And so we've talked about in several videos, and I'll be leaving a link below on what you can do to help reduce small hive beetle levels. We've got a couple different options out there, and we'll have more next year as well. But let's get into the recipe a little bit. So it's not very different from what Man Lake recommends on the back of their 50-odd pound bag, and they might have it on other containers as well. They recommend 12 pounds of dry sugar, 20 pounds of Pro Sweet or a similar product, high fructose corn syrup. Um, there's other syrups out there, other blends, and then 15 pounds of Ultra B. Now, again, I think you could probably use Mega B or some other products with that. The problem with that recipe is, is it is so hard. My KitchenAid mixer won't mix it. This drill definitely won't mix it. And we need something that's going to mix it very well. And let me get down here. So, I mean, look at this. We still got a little bit of sub on the walls. But it is really nice and thick. I'll, I'll show you more about the texture here in a second. But So we changed it because we wanted to be able to mix it with a drill makes it a whole lot easier. Now you can't just use any old weak drill. I mean this isn't a crazy professional grade drill by any means. I mean it's a craftsman, but old craftsmen were very different. I've got some of my old uh, great-grandfather's craftsmen. They are very different. But this is what this one's rated right over here. 
and it works very well for us. So if you had a more powerful drill, it would be even easier. And we just have a paint um, mixer, mud spinner type dealio on the end. You can get them from your hardware store. We've actually got them in the link um, in the description below if you want to you know, see those on Amazon and a few other things that we use here as well. Uh, that's, that's where we get a lot of our stuff um, because I don't like having to go into town. I'm, I, like to, I like talking about bees, but I'm, I don't like going into town. It's funny about how that works. But So what we did is we took the 12 pounds for the Man Lake of sugar and we swapped it with 6 pounds. And then we upped the syrup to 26 pounds instead of 20. So basically this recipe that we're using is 6 pounds of granulated sugar. It is 26 pounds of Pro Sweet, which I do believe you'll be able to replace. Now we are going to be showing you very soon how to make your own syrup at home. It's going to be very similar to the Pro Sweet. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to get the job done just the same way. And we got 15 pounds of Ultra B. So 15 pounds of Ultra B, 26 pounds of syrup, 6 pounds of sugar. That is going to give you this consistency, which is exactly what we need. We need something moist that bees can attack. We need something that's not going to be runny down into the frames. We can't have it dripping all down in there, so that's, that's a, a big issue. But we can't have it drying up as well. And we're going to be tinkering around with this. I'm hoping that we can eliminate <clears throat> excuse me, this parchment paper here, and we can just basically scoop up an amount like this on a, a big colony and just chuck it in there between some frames, smoke all the bees out of the way really good, and then just allow the weight of the boxes to crush it um, down in there. You know, with the bees out of the way, it's just going to kind of push down in there just a couple inches, and it should be just fine. As long as the bees are smoked out of the way, it'll be good. For singles, it'll just we'll have a feeder rim or something like that above. So we're going to show you how to make the syrup. The old recipe was just fine. We'll be leaving that link below if I didn't already say that. If you want to use that recipe, it's very similar in some ways. You just cannot do Man Lake's recipe with a drill. You'll burn your drill or your KitchenAid mixer. But we want ours moist, soft, easy to mix and not runny, all that kind of stuff. I'm sure I've missed something. But the main thing is, whether you're using this recipe or another, if your bees need some sub, they need it. This fall has been really rough on our bees. We're going to be feeding more sub this fall than I think I've ever fed before just because, um, especially up on this bee yard here at my house, it just, they just did not do very well at all. So we're going to be doing more feeding than usual. Sometimes that happens. Some times you have bumper crop years where they're drawing foundation in fall. And our other bee yards did better. This is my worst bee yard here at home. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions about our pollen sub or anything else, leave them below.